Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about inspiration. So what inspires you? What inspires me? Well, I feel you can find inspiration anywhere and everywhere. I want to share with you a story. When I was in corporate America, I was an instructor and I would travel from city to city facilitating workshops. I did that by flying to the city or driving to the city. So on one of my trips, I was actually driving from Dallas to San Antonio, Texas. I gave myself plenty of time. So I stopped at different antique shops. In one of them, as I walk out, there was a pile of rusty metal. On top of that rusty metal, I saw this cowbell. It was corroded. It was full of holes, but it had beautiful colors. I asked how much for the cowbell. They said two bucks and I bought it. It wasn't until two years later that I decided to use that cowbell and a piece of art. So my style is conceptual art and I do 3D mixed media. So I felt what's more appropriate for a cowbell than to paint a cow. That was the beginning of a new body of work that I call zoomorphism. And what inspired this was the cowbell. My first cow, I called her Lucky Cow. And I basically um, painted a yellow background because I wanted her to pop out. Of course, I installed my rusty, corroded cowbell. And that cow was actually sold on the very first show that I, that I showed her. And um, it was purchased by a collector in Brentwood, California. My second cow, I called her Lucky Cow. On this cow, I used a different cowbell. So over the years, I've purchased all kinds of different bells. Every opportunity I have to purchase a bell, I'm gonna purchase a bell because I want each one of these cows to be unique. So Lucky Cow had a deep green background. And of course, it had a chain and a, and, um, a cowbell. As well, this cow was sold to a collector in West Hollywood, California. My third cow, the title is News, N-E-W-S, and, and it stood for North, East, West, and South. And this cow was also sold in California, and it included a larger cowbell, and it was the first cow that I use two tones for the background. My fourth cow, a cow that I am very proud of. I call her Cow 42. It was purchased by a friend and collector in Palos Verde, California. This cow was actually part of different flyers, promotional flyers of different shows. And it's a very, very special cow. I use a very bright red on the background, and it's actually the first cow that I use a rope instead of a chain, and she has two earrings. This is Big Bell Bull. Now, the unique thing about Big Bell is I use seashells on the horns. He's got actually two earrings, and he's got an adjustable bell. That's it hang up to two feet down from the frame when you hang it up on a wall. Big bell bull. I call her Green Eye Cows. One of my, within my style, I like to add a lot of colors to the eyes as you can see in Green Eye Cow. So some of the unique things about Green Eye Cow, she's got a broken chain, bark wire. She also has a um, bamboo stick on for her bell. And she also has her own unique bell. This is Green Eye Cow. This is World Cow. I've done several variations of world cows. And the reason I call it world cows because I actually draw the continents 
within the head and the body of the cow. So we have North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia. And again, on all of them, they have their own unique um, cowbell. This one has two tones. I have a variation, and this is a, a world cow that shows her kind of like behind a fence. I'm trying to show some freedom and liberty within this world cow. And I have one with a, a green background that was actually uh, purchased by a friend in California as well. This is Cowtown. She's very unique. It's the only white cow that I have painted. And I have here, welcome to Cowtown, Cow's Room. And um, I've showed this in um, Fort Worth, which is traditionally known as Cowtown in Texas. A um, very successful show. And again, she's got her own unique cowbell. And one of the earrings actually says cows, well, it actually says arts, art matters. So, cow time. So now that I live in Texas, I've painted a couple of bulls and cows in relation to um, the Texas. Um, the Texas Longhorn are very, very popular in Texas, so this is my first longhorn, and this is the only bull slash cow that doesn't actually have a cowbell. So for Tex, Longhorn Tex actually got the Texas Star, and this is adjustable. We could put it at different height, and this is Longhorn Tex. And again, I'm using seashells on the horns, double earring. And kind of like a reddish color for a longhorn, a Texas longhorn. So this is a very special bull. As a kid, um, my parents would play music. And um, we're talking about the 60s and the 70s here. And there was a very popular Spanish song that the lyrics was about a bull that fell in love with the cow. The song is actually called El Toro Enamorado de la Luna, or The Bull in Love with the Moon. And I wrote the lyrics of this song on, on this work, and it's a beautiful story because the bull every night will run away from the herd, go to the river, and see the reflection on the moon of the river. And then he would get all upset when the sunrise came because it's what happened to his moon because he was in love with the moon. So it's a beautiful story. And again, like all of them, they have their own unique bell. I got um, the moon. I also use um, seashells on the horn. And again, the lyrics of that song. So, El Toro Enamorado de la Luna, or the bull in love with the moon. So the last piece I want to share with you today, part of this body of work, is called Musik Saloon. And this cow is in, um, kind of like in memory or in honoring musicians. So this cow actually has a harmonica instead of a cowbell. And she's kind of like in front of a saloon, um, hoping to get contracted, I guess. Um, and again, she's a spotted cow. She's got the earrings. And of course, I burnt the title in Musique Saloon. So this wraps up my video on inspiration and sharing of my body of work that I actually call zoomorphism. And if you look at my animals, including all my cows and bulls, um, they're kind of like standing up like people. And that's the reason I call it zoomorphism. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in. If you like my video, please give me a like. And I would love for you to subscribe to my video. 
Um, thank you very much.